Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Uh, in one of the last videos I did, I talked a little bit about how to set up navigation with point-to-click, and there was a question about how to debug that and see the path that the character is going to follow. So I wanted to just show a quick sample of how I would set that up. So here I've got this same scene that I had before. Let me just disable this and show you what it looked like. But I've pulled out the camera so the camera is no longer following the character, just so I can get a slightly different view and see a little bit more about what's going on. I'm going to also move the character out here just a little bit. So you've got this little guy there and as I click on a location he'll walk to that location. So he's just setting the destination on the nav mesh agent and he goes right there. Like I said there's a whole video on it if you want to watch and kind of learn how this works go check that out first. So to debug it though what I've done is create a new game object here and I just named it path debugger and I've added a line renderer to it. The line renderer I didn't set anything up on. You probably want to go in and customize this and make it look a little prettier. It defaults to just a pink missing material. But I've also added this script here, a navigation debugger script. And I want to show you how that works since that's kind of the core of what's going on. Now, in this script, what I'm doing is allowing the user to select an agent just by dragging it in in the editor and then we're caching off a line renderer that's on this object. So if you look here again, you'll see we have a line renderer here. That's what's getting cached. And then this agent to debug field is just so that we can debug it. Again, you could also just put this directly on the character if you wanted the character to always show this, but I split it up here for debugging purposes. Then in the update method, what we do is just check to see if the agent has a path. So this will return true as soon as he's got a path that he's walking on and false as soon as he's not. And then we set the line renderer's position count to the number of, or sorry, the length of the corners of the path. So this is every point on his path. We're just getting the length there and then setting the position count for our line renderer. What that does is, if you look in the line renderer right here, here positions this size variable it's getting updated so if we had four points on the path it'll go to four if we just have two it's going to be at two and you'll see that when I run it in just a moment now the next thing we do let's see is set the positions so we just call line render dot set positions and since the corners is an array of vector threes and set position takes an array of vector threes we can just pass it straight in and it'll just work um, other than that, we just enable the line renderer, assuming there's still a path here, and then if there's no path, we just turn the line renderer off. So let's hit play and see how that looks. So I hit play, and now I click, and you can see I've got a nice pink line going right along wherever I click. It's kind of showing the path, and if I click there, and it's gone. So here, watch the position size. So right now it's at 2, and now it's up to 4 because there are multiple sides and now it's down to two again All right and if I click over here you'll see we get you know, 10 points for all of these different segments right there so that's really all you need to debug this stuff like I said you could put it on the character if you really want to have every character just debug themselves the setup I've made here is just to debug a single character so you can see what's going on and also if you're gonna put it on a character and have it be visible throughout you know you'd want to go in and assign a material here make something pretty that isn't just a default pink line. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you like this, don't forget to like and hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.